into the newsroom tonight. We're learning new details on the murder of a Tampa woman overseas. Right now, investigators are searching for the man they say murdered 51-year-old Wendy Albano in Bangkok, Thailand. Our Chris Martinez joins us now with how family and friends here in Tampa want her killer caught. Chris? That's, that's right, Wendy. And right now I can show you that police are using this photo right here as they work to track down that man in India. And tonight, friends of the victim say this guy's arrest can't come soon enough. In just a few days, the business trip that took Wendy Albano to the other side of the world was supposed to end. Now tonight, her friends must come to grips with why she's never coming home. Totally unexpected. Unexpected. Tammy Sasson shared a seven-year-long friendship with Albano, a 51-year-old interior designer who was known for her artistic flair, love of cats, but mostly her commitment to the people in her world. When you were with Wendy, you just knew you were loved and accepted and um, and that she would do anything in the world for you. That makes her murder all that more puzzling to anyone who knew her. Thai media reports say Albano was found by maids in her Bangkok hotel Monday, stabbed and strangled to death. And this grainy image, now being circulated worldwide, shows the man accused of her killing. In a statement released tonight, Albano's family says she met that man in India while attempting to start a design-related and fashion import business. Last I heard from her. So far, Albano's friends don't have much to say about that man, focusing tonight not on who took this woman away, but rather on the legacy they say she leaves behind. She was a fiercely loyal friend. And we know Albano is survived by a large family, including two adult daughters. And I can tell you that this guy, this Indian man, the suspect, he was last seen by surveillance cameras leaving her hotel room. We know right now Interpol is working to try and track him down. Jameson. Thank you. New tonight, a twice convicted murderer is now dead.